Thank you, honorable parliamentarians, for giving me a floor to speak about regarding a few of the most pressing issues that the youth is facing today. I'm Ayman Sadiq, founder of 10 Minute School, where we teach more than 150,000 students every single day, and that too, completely free of cost. This makes us the largest online education platform of a small but a very optimistic nation called Bangladesh. When I used to teach back in 2013 in an offline class, the number of students attending in one class was only 40. Only a year later, when I took the same class online, the number of students attending that same class was half a million. Just to put that number into perspective, if I need to reach out to half a million students by having a class of 40 students every single time, I have to repeat that class 12,500 times. That is my entire lifetime. Honorable parliamentarians, this is the sheer power of digital education today. With the help of augmented and virtual reality, we can create a classroom around anyone and everyone. Through the power of digitalization, we need to ensure that every bit of our educational content is reaching out to every student to the distant corner of the world, regardless where they belong or what the economic conditions are. We can create the content if you can give us the platform. We can teach and you can give us the access and reach. Together, we can bring down the barriers of quality education to virtually zero. Honorable parliamentarians, I believe there is a detachment between the policymakers and us, the youth. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying we dislike each other. It's probably because of the fact that we never really met in the same field. When you're at the press conferences discussing about pressing issues, we're probably browsing YouTube or Facebook searching for the same news. Why don't we bridge the gap of communication by meeting virtually? Imagine this, a student sitting in a traffic, but he instead of being frustrated about it and posting a Facebook status, is maybe discussing how to solve this problem with an honorable parliamentarian through a Facebook live show, where both the parties are engaging simultaneously. That's the power of digitalization that we need to hold on to. Two years back, when I graduated from university, I had an overwhelming realization that we need to do more to keep pace with this fast-changing world. The fourth industrial revolution has come with a range of new technologies that are blurring the lines between physical, digital, and biological worlds and impacting all disciplines, economies, and industries. Robots are likely to replace a large portion of the jobs in the next decade to come. While older jobs are being scrapped, newer ones are coming up every day, which we hardly even know of. Dear Parliament, we request you to create a curriculum that can keep up with the rapidly changing industry, a system where you would learn by doing rather than just reading. Because in this world, we need more doers. Our education system should shift from literacy and memory-based system to a more skill-based curriculum. We should teach our students about emotional, digital, and financial intelligence. There is no point of teaching students the fact-based content, most of which is already available on Google. We need to reduce this mismatch between the industry need and the academia supply. I beg you to create a system where the students can get the equal opportunity. Once the students enter the job market, this redundancy in education sometimes fails to connect them with proper jobs. If you imagine, out of the 2.4 billion people in the Commonwealth countries, 60% of them are under the age of 30. Can you imagine the sheer magnitude of that number? We are the change agents. And all we need is the right opportunity. We can be the first generation to end extreme poverty. We can be the most determined generation to end injustice and inequality. And the last generation to be threatened by problems like refugee crisis or climate change. For that, we need to break the barriers 
and build more bridges, spread happiness, and most of all, we need to make sure that no, and I repeat, no one is left behind. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.